uh, graph the solution of the inequality. So to do that, we need to find the solution of the inequality. So you're going to draw your line down the inequality sign. So it's x plus 9, so we're going to do the opposite and subtract 9 from both sides. So this will be greater than or equal to 13 minus 9 will be uh, 4. So your solution is x is greater than or equal to 4. So you can draw your number line. And since it's equal to, it's going to be a solid dot above the 4. And it's going to go towards the right because it's greater than. Okay, Zane has eight days left to finish his summer reading project, but still needs to select a book to read. He can read a maximum of 45 pages a day. So writing a quality that can help you select a book with um, X pages so you can complete a book within eight days or fewer. So it wants to be eight days or less, and it has a maximum of 45 pages a day. So that's be 45 um, so that'd be, excuse me, y'all. So you're going to do four pa 45 pages in one day. So you're going to do X divided by 45, because you're going to take the number of pages there are in total and then divide it up to by 45 to see how many pages he can do per day. And that'd be your solution. All right, let's try another one. Number three, right, an inequality shown below. 18 is greater than or equal to x plus 1.2. Which situation is best represented by the inequality? Jessica has $18 to spend on lunch. She spent $1.20 on, on a drink. How much money she can she spend on her meal? That's actually pretty good because $18 is her total. So you can't spend more than $18, but you can spend up to $18. You don't know how much she spent on her meal, but she did spend $1.20 on her drink. Tony has $18. Party favors cost 12 cents each. He can buy one party favor. How much does uh, he have left? So $18 is the same thing. Plus how much money does he have left? Plus the 12 cents. But 12 cents is 0.12, not 1.2. Micah has $18. Candy bars are $1.20 each. How many candy bars can he buy? So it's still $18 is greater than or equal to, but we 1.20 times x because it says each. That means it's being multiplied. Sheridan sells pens for $1.20 each. How many pens does she need to sell to make at least $18? Okay, same thing, but the sign's still wrong, so A is correct. All right, please switch. Thank you. Which of the value of t will make the inequality true? So we're going to draw our line. 6 is being multiplied, so we're going to do the opposite and divide 6 of both sides. So 42 divided by 6 is 7. So 7 is greater than t. So now you see all the t's are on the left side. So I need to flip this around. So I'm going to write t and my 7. So you see this sign is eating the 7. So when I flip it, i got to make sure to flip this as well. So t is less than 7. The answer is g. Number five, an isosceles triangle is shown in the diagram below. An isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two equal sides. So let x represent the length of the um, congruent sides of the isosceles triangle. And the, max, the minimum length of the congruent side must be greater than 15 inches in order to create a triangle. If the perimeter of the triangle is 84 inches or less, which, two, which inequalities would represent the possible lengths of the two congruent sides of the isosceles triangle? Okay. So your, inequ your inequality is 2x plus 32 has to be less than or equal to 84 inches. So you can draw your line. And you subtract 32 from both sides. You get 2x is less than or equal to 52. You divide 2 to both sides. And you get x is less than or equal to um, 26. So you, the solution could be um, A. 
because it has to be x is less than or equal to 26, but it also has to be greater than 15. This is the answer. Number six, inequality shown below. Negative 5x is less than 28. So you're going to solve it. So you're going to divide negative 5 to both sides. 28 divided by negative 5 it means you're going to sign it. It's going to have to flip. So the x is now greater than or equal to 28 divided by 5, or 28 divided by negative 5, which uh, 28, 28 divided by 5 will go in there five times which will be 5.6, and it'll be a negative 5.6. Okay, number seven, a student needs to collect at least 20 flowers for a science project. The student has already collected three flowers. The inequality shown can be used to find n, the number of flowers the student still needs. Write inequality to represent the solution set for this, for this situation. So we're gonna subtract three from both sides. So you get n is greater than or equal to 17. All right, number eight, which inequality is true when x is less than eight? So we're just going to solve these when x is less than eight. So you're going to subtract five from here, subtract five from here. So you get x is less than or equal to negative 15. So anything less than negative 15 is the solution. That's not true for that, so it's wrong. Here we're going to divide by negative three, divide by negative three. So you get positive eight is greater than x, or x is less than eight. So it would be g. But we're going to make sure. Divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5. You get x is less than positive 5. Here we're going to divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3. You get x is less than or equal to positive 8. But the sign's not the same, so it's not that. So it's g. All right, inequality is shown below. Which situation is best represented by the inequality? Marco has 45 songs on his music player. Uh, how many additional songs can you put on the music player if you only add, if it can only hold 90 songs? Okay, an additional means that you're adding, so A is not correct. Angela saves $45 every month. How many months will it take him to save $90 or more? So that's saying 45x is $90 or more, so be greater than or equal to 90. So that's not it. The sign's wrong. 90 students will be attending the school play. If each row in the auditorium has 45 chairs, what's the least number of rows that the students will use? Um, so you have 45x um, is less than or equal to 90. It's um, actually it's going to be greater than or equal to 90. Brooke has saved $90 to buy shoes at Danny uh, Cow's Shoes. She, um, the shoes Brooke wants to buy are $45 per pair. What's the greatest number of pairs she can buy? So their 45X is less than or equal to 90. This answer is D. A new mountain bike will cost X dollars. Nyoka has saved $825 for a new mountain bike. Her grandmother will give her $145 to help pay for the new bike. Um, Why and quality to find the possible price of the new mountain bike she can afford. Um, so Nyoka saved $825 for a new mountain bike. And her grandmother will give her $125 to help pay for the new mountain bike. For the new bike. Um, so right in quality they can be used to find the possible price values of a new mountain bike that Nyoka can afford. Jesus. So inequality shown below. You have x minus 5.8 is less than or equal to 7. So you're going to add 5.8 to both sides. And you get x is less than or equal to 12.8. All right, thanks, guys.